when he first introduced us a design recipe, I thought it was way too extra, right? You have to write all of that stuff, signatures and purpose statements, headers and check effects. And I remember telling you in one of the lectures that professor, this seems so extra. But now I've just grown so used to the design recipe. Like I open up my problems and I'm pretty much blank up here, right? I don't feel like I need to do something. But as soon as I go like signatures and statements, proper statements and header and check expects, I know what I'm doing. I, it like design recipe gets you in the mood to think. <laughs> <laughs> but once I come to the template and I have to transition from template and function definition, Sometimes I feel stuck. That's how, that's why I told you like, for some problems we need something between template and the function. What I feel like, because before knowing the design recipe, I felt like coding is hard and you have to think about it, right? But, uh, but the design recipe makes it so effortless up until the template. By the time I'm at, I'm at the template, it feels like it'll literally, it'll help me somehow. The design recipe will help me to draft the function effortlessly up until the way it did me to draft the template. And my brain just doesn't want to be worked because it mm -hmm. didn't work all the way up until there. That's okay, right. so so obviously when this part of what you just said gets into whatever video we make next for this class, <laughs> the, the headline is gonna be student enters thinking design recipe has too many steps and leaves thinking has too few steps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, I mean, like my perspective, like a little bit different because I've been programming for a while now, but like with no formal education. So like a very exciting thing, interesting thing to like really study, like how you were like, do write and check expects what they're for, uh, the design recipe in general, and also how you're trying to convey it to the class. Because like essentially it's like, until this point, didn't have design recipe, but more of like my own method of essentially a sort of form of design recipe for myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. because like mm -hmm. I don't have any formal computer science education I have what I've worked out for myself and a lot of it ends up being something that sort of connects to a real thought concept and not something I made up to illustrate what is going on yeah yeah it, it is kind of a distillation like you know stuff this didn't exist 100 years ago so like basically uh, people were like what are we doing after we program and you know suffered for a long time like what are the habits we eventually settle on and how can we like describe it in a more concise way so that people who have no programming experience don't have to go through it's the same amount of trouble like this is this like, people, like we're trying to reduce total suffering here right, right? 